51 time for a weekend break and now we're headed back to the Chicago Sports Museum and we're checking in with Grant Deporter again with more on the measure up exhibit. Hey, good morning again, Grant. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. All right, so I think in this All segment right. we're going to talk about the 1919 Black Sox ball, right? Yeah, we're, if you don't know Grant, you know he's all about superstition <laughs> and spooky season, and he has all of these things. It's amazing, yes. Grant. Talk about this ball from 1919. Well, I'm going to explain everything. Yes, well, what I figured out, remember, the, the White Sox made worldwide news this season because they set the most losses in Major League Baseball history, yep. uh, 121 losses. But I really figured out what caused it. Oh. Uh, the former <laughs> home of WGN Television used to be in the Tribune Tower, and when they were turning it into condos, they found a hidden time capsule buried uh -huh. in the wall that no one knew it was there. It was from 1920. So uh, Lee Golub, who uh, the developer of the building, contacted me and said, can you tell me what this ball is that it has found? Yeah. Well, I found out that ball was used in the 1919 World Series, known as the Black Sox Series, oh, where yeah. eight White Sox players threw the game. Hmm. And uh, that ball was used in game five. It struck out six White Sox batters in a row, a World Series record that still has not been broken. Mm -hmm. why, do, you know, why were they striking out? Because they didn't want to hit the ball. Um, that mark is uh, called it a shine mark because they put paraffin wax on it to kind of spin around. Um, but I found a letter in the time capsule that explained everything. But what I noticed is I removed the ball on December 9-11, 2022, and that's when the White Sox started going downhill. Oh. Uh, they were winning. They took first place the season before. And once this ball left the Tribune Tower is when it slided. And the funny thing is, uh, you know, public television wanted to do a special on this ball. They took the ball out July 10th of this year, oh and boy. then they lost 21 games oh in a row. Wow. So, we're, we're, to, we're, yes, so yeah, to help the White Sox, I'm putting it back in the time capsule this offseason. Yeah, <laughs> please do. <laughs> we'll bring it right back to the Trip Tower. Grant, all of this stuff you can see at the Sports Museum. It's right there on Michigan Avenue, right by the Harry Carey Restaurant and Water Tower. It is an amazing place. Go check it out. Grant, we appreciate you and all that you do uh, to keep all of those great pieces of sports history in Chicago alive. Appreciate you. Final check of the forecast coming oh, well, up. Well, well, thanks, Sean. Thanks, Joel.